Hey Gemini, welcome to your Pop Tarot Love reading. Um, I do have some time today, so I just thought of um, doing one for Gemini as well. I hope everybody's staying well. All my subscribers, thank you for stopping by. Info about my personal readings and everything else about this channel will be in the description box below. Okay, so Gemini, let's go ahead and do your reading. Oh, guys, by the way, don't forget to join me every Monday night. I have the Gypsy Monday Night Starro at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. I go live here in YouTube, so if, you, if you're interested, you can click on subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I go live and post videos, yeah? All right. Gemini. What do we have for Gemini in love? This is for your love connections, Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. In love. Wow. You have similar um, energies, I feel, here with um, the Libra reading that I have just done a while ago so if you want to check that out air signs <laughs> go check that out as well oops all right so Gemini wow okay so in this connection Gemini I do feel that this is a connection that you 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 really want you want you are very much attracted to this person they're mentally, spiritually, um, physically, of course, and um, you connect with this person at um, most levels, if not all. Yeah? You connect with this person, if not all. And well, let me see this. Oh, wow. Okay, let's look at that later. Okay, so you connect with this person, and um, definitely I feel that um, you love spending time with them. Um, you enjoy being with this person. It's uh, most of the time, perhaps, um, this person occupies a free rental in your brain. <laughs> yeah, most often, too, I feel that you may even have initiated quite a lot of... Um, you did a lot of initiation towards this connection, Gemini, whether it be you're a female or a male, but I feel that on your side here, you pursued this connection, yeah, in Gemini, as you are together with, with uh, I mean, in this connection, you pursued this. You're not um, at some point, you know, sitting back and waiting for this person to do all the, the moves towards you. I feel that you yourself did... Um, did the initiation offers offer them financial support emotional support and all that to the extent to the extent gemini that you may have felt um, drained yeah you may have felt drained off here because um it got to a point that things weren't really that balanced yeah it got to a point that you may end up um you know be the one offering your love your nurturing capability um, you always try to listen to this person and to understand their their problems and it's it seems like it got to a point that it's all about them mm -hmm. it's all about them so that pretty much is the downside of it at the end of it you get exhausted because a connection needs to have two parties to um, collaborate yeah could be dealing with an Aquarius here. I feel that this is someone, um, Gemini, where someone who is spiritual, someone who may who may think really out of the box most often, and that is probably why you are very um, excited or excited in talking to them. You connect with this person mentally, um, in the mental level, and 
This is someone, Gemini, that is meant to be in your life. Yeah, A person who is meant to be in your life. To teach you something, I feel. Because they bring about a different uh, type of energy. Different from you, from your usual... You can be both intelligent. You can be both um, possibly have similar interest. But... The composition of this person's mind is, is, is different from yours. And every time you connect with this person, they give you another window or they open another window of, of opportunity for you to learn more, to understand more. Okay? That is, that is the part where I say you probably connect mentally. In terms of um, this connection, Gemini, you got this connection to a point that you can see there is a possibility for for growth and expansion here. You can see that. And I feel you both can actually see that. But the thing is, there is lack of um, a decision point on whether do you still want to continue gearing this connection forward, especially if one of you here is already drained off. One, if not both of you. So this... This is the type of connection that at the initial phase, it was all exciting. Um, every, you poured everything out as early as possible. And you were dealing with someone who wasn't really um, up and up in putting the same amount of effort. The pacing perhaps wasn't, uh, was not very, was not, um, um, the, the connection wasn't paced well the way I see it, and it brought about the imbalance, it brought about um, the exhaustion, yeah, and possibly it came out to be a one-sided connection, yeah, usually those are doomed to fail, yeah, but, Gemini, now the way I see it, you both have grown as well in this connection, right? You both have grown in the process of um, dealing with one another, whether together or afar. You both have gained rather this emotional awareness as to how you both impact each other's lives. Um, what's the significance of your existence in this person's life and vice versa? You both are beginning to realize that, especially your person. I do feel that there is that call within them, you know, that realization that where this connection is at right now, whether it is on a standstill, especially if you're not communicating, that means it's on a standstill. This person is beginning to realize that you, Gemini, this connection is indeed something that is, you know, that can be renewed. And they do have faith that at some point in time, you can still... Um, rekindle this. That's the way I see it. Even if you're not communicating right now, yeah, I feel that you are both checking on one another, whether it be social media, through your friends, through your family, or even through tarot readings. <laughs> I do feel that you are both checking on one another, trying to see what the other person is doing without having to call or connect with the other person directly. The way I see it, um, you, Gemini, you felt like, at least for this connection, you felt like this is a no-go anymore. And I feel that in your mind, you are actually ready to kind of just go your own way for now. It feels like that because you feel like, well, if it's that stagnant, if you're not hearing from anyone, then what is there to really think about? Yeah, it's a no-go. Yeah, You may have offered your love to this person that was rejected in the past. Your person wasn't ready with the pace, with the pacing, <laughs> you know. They were also exhausted with the pacing, and I feel like you were exhausted for putting in a lot of effort here, or vice versa, or vice versa. And I feel that you're ready to just go on your way right now, Gemini, in terms of this connection, even though you really want this connection to move forward. Yeah, 
you're trying to just go within and then just be possibly spending more time doing your own thing, reading books or getting some enlightenment through friends, through your connections, through if not art outwardly, it could like I said, reading, researching and all that to give you more enlightenment regarding your connection or regarding your own um life as well in general but the way i see here you're you you're kind of thinking that um you know this is a no go now looking at this connection like i said you're both still checking on one another and i feel that in your person's side this is this is a person who is not closing the door of this connection just yet for some reason it um somebody who feels like they have forever to live <laughs> that kind of thing that if you don't connect today maybe tomorrow or maybe next month or maybe somebody who is who doesn't have a timeline of their own that's the way I'm, I'm feeling um but i do see this person also spending time away from this connection to just get some tranquility you know to have an inner peace as well for now uh, but they never stop thinking about you yeah they never stop thinking about you um, for the most part, I feel that they're also thinking on how to reach out to you. If they feel that they wronged you in the past, this is someone who wants to offer an apology. They're thinking about that. And the way I see it, Gemini, is that there's going to be a moment that this person is going to come forward and tell you exactly, tell you exactly um, their realization and tell you exactly what do they want in this connection, why did this connection not um, work in the past, and where would they want this connection to go. There would be that level of authenticity that this person would bring about on the table the moment they communicate with you. I see communication coming here. I see communication coming. Yeah, And that's going to be the time, unexpected, that this person is going to take a leap of faith with you for this connection i mean for this connection you both are still pretty much in each other's um, energy fields here you haven't left they didn't either yeah there's so much uh, there's so much um longing here for both of you to commit to start this new love to initiate but all these are just longing. They are all at the back of both of your minds. Yeah. But in this person's mind right now, there is that call to action. Yeah. So I do feel that after some time of this person detaching from you, there is this person now, at least as of this moment, I do see that they are trying to find peace in their own life as well as keep thinking about how to make amends to Gemini. What can I offer to Gemini? How can I tell Gemini I love them? You know, that kind of, of, of um, energy I feel. And next to that is this person's going to be able to determine that it's going to be the truth. Speak the truth yeah, to Gemini. And then, unexpectedly, unexpectedly so, this person will do just that. Mm -hmm. will jump jump off and, and do just that yeah so that's all I have for you Gemini I'm going to leave it at that hope that gives you insights and um, let me know how this resonates uh, in the comment section below as well as if you like this reading give me a thumbs up and um, click on the subscribe also click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I I post new videos or go live and again i invite you to join me every monday for my gypsy monday night tarot i do readings live for all signs there and we can join me so we can chat yeah online as well um um what else <laughs> Okay, so as well, if you need further readings, I do have them in my channel. I have Gemini, um, Gemini Love Playlist, which um, tons of readings in there, Gemini, that you would enjoy. Yeah, and um, also I do have them on the screen if you're interested. And um, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Share. 
this reading to your friends. And if this is Ruby Pauwes, thank you for stopping by.